Cammie Gilliam was in her living room yesterday when she heard the engines revving. I looked outside and just so happened to see the black car. White car was in front of it and going really, really fast down my hill. And right after that, probably not even two seconds later, I heard it just a loud bang. From witness statements, Highway Patrol believes 38-year-old Jason Kennedy and his 18-year-old son were racing. Jason tried to pass his son and slammed head-on into a UPS truck. We didn't know whose car it was. We didn't, you know, I mean, it was definitely looked bad, though. You could just tell that there, somebody had not made it out of the car. Jason Kennedy died at the scene. His son Weldon could be charged with involuntary manslaughter. For residents on Lakeview, the crash is an example of a problem they've been dealing with for years. First thing one of my neighbors did warn me about, um, because I do have a young child, is that the uh, traffic that comes down Lakeview usually is um, a lot of people speed down this road. It's a family neighborhood. I mean, there's a lot of kids in the neighborhood, and it does worry me that you know, I mean, that there are cars that speed up and down the road. This means constantly monitoring the kids and limiting where they can play. We rarely let our kids play out in front. Um, it's just not safe. It's 25 miles an hour, and usually people go between 35 and 40, if not faster. But residents say as long as cars are speeding, there's always possible danger. There's always that chance that one of them might happen just to walk next to the road and they'll be coming speeding over that hill. Juliet Dreyer, KRCG 13 News, Camdenton.